spełniają się nasze marzenia. To jest wyjątkowy dzień dla nas, dla całego świata, Paula Technology. Takich sukcesów nie osiąga się w pojedynkę. To jest co najmniej 7 lat bardzo ciężkiej pracy, ale było warto podjąć tą decyzję. Jesteśmy dzisiaj tutaj, gdzie jesteśmy, na otwarciu fabryki. Ta linia produkcyjna, którą uruchomiliśmy dzisiaj, to jest naturalne przeniesienie procesów opracowanych w laboratorium w pełni zautomatyzowany proces produkcyjny. Kolejnym krokiem jest zwiększenie skali produkcji w istniejącej lokalizacji, natomiast następnymi krokami już jest budowa nowych linii produkcyjnych razem z partnerami biznesowymi z różnych rynków w formie joint venture. Nasze rozwiązanie w momencie prezentacji pokazywało niesamowite możliwości wykorzystania tej technologii, te możliwości peroskitu polegające na tym, że można go instalować na fasadach, integrować z oknami, zamieszczać na różnego rodzaju lekkich konstrukcjach. To są cechy, których inne technologie nie mają. Na wysokości 45 metrów podpisaliśmy bardzo ważny dokument, w którym deklarujemy chęć zielonej transformacji. Podpisaliśmy dzisiaj umowę z MVGM na transformację energetyczną budynków znajdujących się w portfelu tej spółki. To znaczy to, że wszystkie budynki, które są rządzane przez tą spółkę będą ulepszane o ogniwa fotowoltaiczne, perskitowe i krzemowe, po to, żeby te budynki były w większości bardziej samowystarczalne, a rząd zapłacił mniej za prąd. Technologia, która jest wdrażana przez Saulę jest w ogóle technologią niezwykle innowacyjną, rewolucyjną wręcz. Doskonałym narzędziem na takiej drodze, która się już rozpoczęła, po której wszyscy kroczymy, czyli przejścia na alternatywne źródła energii. No i mamy to, proszę Państwa. W dość trudnych warunkach zostanie podpisane porozumienie pomiędzy Saule, Sofii Polska i Kolumbus. Podpisane. Karta Zielonej Transformacji jest, jest wyrazem tego, co robimy na co dzień, tego, do czego dążymy. Mamy wspólny projekt, Kolumbus, Saule, mamy łamacz, który chcemy promować. Chcemy e, zmieniać budynki, żeby budynki czerpały energię z OZE. To jest ten obszar, który został zdefiniowany, ale myślę, że to jest jeden z obszarów, który zostanie w najbliższym czasie zaadoptowany, a kolejne będziemy informować w najbliższych tygodniach, miesiącach. Nasza najświeższa wiadomość, którą bardzo chciałabym się ze wszystkimi podzielić, jest to osiągnięcie rekordowej sprawności 25% efektywności naszych ogniw do pierwszych komercyjnych zastosowań w sektorze małej elektroniki Internet of Things. Wejście na New Connect wydaje mi się jest tylko małym przystankiem. Następnym krokiem to będzie na pewno wejście na rynek główny. Wszystko przed Saulę. Jest to spółka globalna, ma perspektywy na jednorożca, na jednorożca dolarowego i to będzie moim zdaniem bardzo w krótkim czasie. Szanowni Państwo, Ladies przed and Państwem Artur Kupczunas, Artur współzałożyciel Kupczunas, i prezes zarządu Saule Technologies. Dzień dobry Państwu. Good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to invite you to the world of Saule Technologies to the premiere of our PSL label.
Okay. Can I please ask my presentation to be displayed? I will tell you a few words about why this product, why perovskite electronic shelf label, what is this about, and where did this philosophy originate from? Probably some of you can remember us from a PV company working to develop new generation PV models, and this application might not seem obvious. When we are talking about a new technology, a new generation of technology, we are thinking about a technology that will not necessarily be applied on roofs of buildings or PV farms, which is the perfect fit for application inside a building. For example, in supermarket shelves, supermarket shelves are the area that is very well lit and our modules are making perfect use of artificial light. So light that is developed, for example, by these floodlights here in the back of the room or this very dim lightning that we have on the ceiling here in this room. I wanted to show you some technical information because I'm an engineer myself and I love technical parameters. But generally, the modules that we have, because they have this capacity and we found the application for the first commercial product, these will be really able to meet these requirements very well and we have the question why. Solar PV models are perfect in terms of distributed light, of illumination, they have the perfect light absorption capacity, the perfect power density under low lighting conditions. This means a low energy budget is able to supply a considerable number of distributed electronics. What does this entail? Well, this entails actually a considerable reduction of what we call food waste, an enormous problem right now in the world. 88 million tons of food is being wasted, which is mostly wasted by households in the entire production cycle, but also in the entire retailer network, in the distribution network. This leads us to financial optimization in for the retailer network and something that is very well known right now from e-commerce, so dynamic pricing. Dynamic pricing is a direction that allows to dynamically understand the behavior of a customer and the market, and this way, just in terms of food waste, if we're talking about fresh vegetables or products that have uh, are nearing the end of their shelf life, we can sell those products even at a lower price. The other option is to throw them away. This is so much helpful that, on the one hand, we are talking about the possibility to apply our cells, but on the other hand, the direction that we are facing, so the so sustainability and sustainable development are the key factors here. Who might be interested? Who might want this? We took the report Linker report that is discussing a considerable increase of the electronic price labels market from approximately 1 point billion in 2020 to a value of more than 7 billion USD by 2026 with uh, growth of year to year by 25% of 25%. This report shows not only an increase of the options to sell price labels equipped with batteries, but it greatly doesn't include labels that are equipped with our modules that allow dynamic price changes and repeated price changes even during the day. The traditional price labels provided with batteries do not allow for this because their lifetime would be considerably reduced in such an application. A number of options, a number of applications. Here we have a matrix, a value matrix that we would like to offer for our solution for retailer networks. The, of course, if we are talking about matters related to zero waste, if we're talking about matters related to using um, casing material, our casing, our housings are made of a fully recycled material. What is especially important here is the application of artificial intelligence and computing cloud for dynamic shaping of pricing and hinting what is in right now, what might be offered to the customer in order to increase um, revenues and gross margin per product. And here I'd like to ask our partner and present the partner that we are going to cooperate with in terms of dynamic pricing. I'm talking about Google Cloud.
Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be able to be the partner for solid technologies as Google Cloud. Our presence in the world of retail of FMCG is purely natural. It would be difficult for me to imagine a company from this area that to some extent doesn't use our technology. We are present. I'm just looking whether my presentation is working. We are present both at the stage of purchasing, optimization of the supply chain, optimizing uh, distribution, but more and more often companies are also using us to analyze where to place their points of sale, how should their offer be shaped, what is their, what should their price list be, we already mentioned dynamic pricing, but also how to better and more efficiently loyalize the customer, how to better and more effectively connect them to us to become more profitable for us. More and more organizations need real-time reporting, more and more data, and through our technology, practically on the spot, in real time, we're able to provide reports and information, drawing data from any source. This allows us to much better not only to know what is happening to our business, but also much more efficiently forecast the future. And Listening to the presentations that have been delivered here since the morning, I heard about disrupted supply chains, sometimes broken supply chains. This also refers to IT infrastructure. I am in no doubt that there are many people who have been waiting for their servers or disk arrays for months. Some are still waiting. Using the global cloud, Google Cloud, actually eliminates this problem. Our infrastructure is available for you, actually, just one click away. And no, you don't need to wait for months. Let me just still add that our analytical systems, AI, machine learning, are still operating all the time to increase revenues, to increase margins, lower costs. And the more companies use our technology, we are in no doubt that it gives, gives them a positive impact on their business. Let me tell you that since 2017, 100% of the energy we buy and Google uses, the whole Google, not only Google Cloud, uh, comes from renewable sources. And speaking about FMCG uh, and retail in Google, uh, we have separate teams with expertise in uh, such companies. Uh, therefore, we can better adapt and understand your expectations. Uh, we have partnered with Saula Technologies, so, so I keep my fingers crossed. Certainly, we will do all the best to turn it into a global company as, and to provide products globally a Polish technology, a Polish company uh, on the global market would, would just has to rely on a global provider of the cloud. Artur, at half past 12, let me invite you to a sh short performance, a press conference. We will discuss the potential applications of our technology. Uh, the conference will be run and moderated by Olga Malinkiewicz. So please uh, come and see it half past 12 here in this room.